room. I am of course Dee and today we are unboxing some toys. First we have these Battle Ball Marvel Battle World Ultimate Armory Collector Adventure game uh, little capsules or balls as they say. Now what did we do? We got these I believe at our dollar store. No at the dollar store? I think so. And I think they were around five dollars Canadian and um, yeah okay so my understanding is of course, these are going to contain some uh, something to do with the game, but it looks like it's just a mystery figure, like a token that you can use in the game. <clears throat> that will be, of course, one of these Marvel characters. And yeah, I thought it'd be kind of cute to check it out. I was curious and uh, we're going to check that out after. Then we also have some Magic Mixies Mixlings because you never get enough magic in your life. And last but not least, we have an LOL Remix Pets uh, little concert uh, mystery box to, uh, to check out. I know I've opened one of these before and they're very fun. And let's start with the Battle Balls because, you know, I'm curious as I said. So let's check it out. I'm trying to look for an opening. There we go. We have a tear strip here. Awesome. Oh, it almost worked. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it's a very interesting ball. Um, it has all these, it's almost like a soccer ball kind of vibe to it. I know it's not, but obviously it has that little vibe. It looks like they have a little place here where you might be able to stand your character. Let's check it out. Okay, so inside we find this little, it feels like a, like a cardboard kind of geometric shape there with I think the character that we're supposed to be getting is in there and then this looks like instructions to a game <clears throat> don't know um cards oh I guess you get oh okay do you get an actual token and then a mystery token oh so I guess you might get parts of the game or is it the game I'm not sure here how to play oh yeah it is an actual game here look at that how to play every turn has three steps I won't go through all that but it looks pretty neat that's cool okay so it add add to your battle world collection okay so obviously like I said it's a game and it comes with the things you need to play the game cards and things like that I'm gonna check out who is this guy let's see if we can find out who he is oh no I bet I just found out who I have in here I sh oh. okay okay that's okay okay let's first find out who this guy is the one we can see and then we can confirm whether or not this guy is who's in here but I'm gonna guess that probably is it it's an interesting dice or die I should say cool and our character is let's see here this is Orgo I believe and he's pretty cool there's like a hard plasticky kind of feel to him then we have in here probably that guy how do we get in here how do I get in here? Wow, do you just like bust in? Hmm. Oh, <laughs> that's so weird. Do I literally bust in? Okay, I hope I'm supposed to just bust in because I don't know. There's nothing here indicating a spot to open it. So, okay. Oh, okay. And here's our character. This looks like an Iron Man kind of thing or is it the uh oh oh i can't think of the name right now looks like this one oh it is oh geez d <laughs> it's platinum arno stark so stark of course tony stark so it is like an iron man arno stark's armor attacks always hit but not something okay interesting hmm Okay, so that's who we have in this. And I'm very curious. I wish I knew more about it. I'd have to like study all this to find out more about it. But I think it's pretty cool that you get like a little game inside here. Let's see what this is. Um, 
obviously it's gonna be stuff to help you play the game. Than Thanos Stone, Baron Stark's Henchman, Shocker, the Dire Wraiths, and of course, Orgo. Okay, so these are all cards for other characters. And yeah, well it's really interesting. You have to really bust into that to find out who you have. That's pretty crazy. All right, now I'm really curious to see who's in this one. I'm just gonna use my little trusty uh, box opener. Okay. And I'm not gonna look at any card this time <laughs> before we look at our character. Oh, look at this. Okay. Let's open this one. Our die. Here we have, it almost looks like, I was wanting to say Scarlet Witch, but, oh, it is too. It's Scarlet Witch. Here we are. That's her card. Cool, but she's armored. Very cool. Awesome. Okay. So of course we have our cards in that too. Let's actually see what's in here. Okay. So we have King Pig, Machine Man, Buzzard, the Thanos Stone, Moonstone, and of course Scarlet Witch. Cool. Okay, put that over there with the other stuff. And now we have to bust into this one again. Ah, oh, I really wish you didn't have to bust into it so much. Let's see, is that enough? I think so. Oh, wow, okay. Who's this? It's like another Iron Man or armored character. Let's see. Actually, let's open the card and find out. It'll just be way simpler. Okay. Yeah, this is Iron Man 2099. So, Auto beam is uh, a some feature that he can do, or uh, um, oh, what is the word I'm looking for? It's uh, oh my goodness, I can't think of the, what I'm trying to say, but very neat. I like him, and he's got like blasters coming out of his hands to push him up. Cool. Okay, well that's really interesting. So again, five bucks at the local Dollarama here in. Uh, Good old Canada. Interesting. And I guess, of course, you could use your little battle ball to keep all your pieces and bits in. So that's cool, too. Interesting. Very interesting. If you know anything about this game, let me know down below in the comments because I would love to learn. I'll have to check it out, too. All right. So now we're going to go on to Magic Mixies. Now, these are cute little figures, of course, with... Oh my goodness, my hair. <laughs> that, uh, that have little tiny little um, fun feature, kind of interactive thing they can do. Let's see, is there a tear strip here? There is. Am I gonna be okay with it? No, of course not. Okay, so here we are. We have a little moon symbol on the front and it looks kind of cool. I don't think I've ever seen a symbol done like this before. So let's see if there's anything different to it. Little characters inside this tissue wrap. Okay, we have our magic wand. Looks like we might be having a character that requires some sort of a water um, use so that we can bring its feature to life. Feature. <laughs> it's a little magic trick to life. Okay, okay, so we have enchanters, flyers, what else are there, morphlings, and spellsters, vanishers, that's right. So this looks like we might have a vanisher because it's the only one that has a wand that's like a dropper. So let's see who we have. Oh yeah, we do. Look at that, isn't that cool? Like a crystal clearish, sparkly little figurine here. And I don't have any, do I have any water? 
water nearby. I don't, so I'll be right back. I'll grab some and we'll see what happens here. Okay, so I have my cold water, as you can tell with the ice cubes in it. And then I have some pretty warm water over here. It's pretty warm, that's why I have it on a little plate. And, well, let's just give it a go. We're gonna first do a drop of the cold water and see what happens. Ready? Actually, do you need the heat first? Maybe you need to warm it first and then you cool it. Let's try that. Okay, let's see. Oh, nothing's happening. Oh, okay, I totally dropped that in. That's pretty warm water, I gotta be careful here. Use my little jewelry pliers. Well, nothing's happening. This is a vanisher, isn't it? Okay. So nothing happened in the hot water. Let's try the cold. Nothing's happening in the cold. Are you glow in the dark then? Uh, maybe you're a glow in the dark one. Okay, okay, change of plans. I'm gonna try my um, little UV light. Oh, I think so, okay. You can see it's pretty violet here. How am I gonna show you guys dark? Okay, I'm gonna light this up and then I'm gonna turn out the lights and everything like that. And hopefully we'll be able to see if it glows in the dark. Okay, all right, I'll be right back. Okay, so it doesn't glow in the dark. I tried the hot and cold water again. It doesn't do anything either still. So I looked at the little collector sheet, if you will. Let me move this to the side. Ah. <laughs> Don't want to spill it. And the category that this little one seems to be falling under is the Sparkle Magic Mega Pack. So because it's under this kind of more unique um, little category, maybe it doesn't do anything or have a power as they're calling it. Um, I don't know. Do you know anything about this? Because I don't. It's beautiful, but maybe the sparkle is kind of its power or its special thing and it doesn't do anything else. It has to because it's just not working. I've never had one not work. Um, so I'm going to have to guess that that has to be right. Anyways, again, if you do know anything about that, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to know what you guys uh also no so yeah I like to be schooled <laughs> well let's open up the other one and see what we have here very interesting never had that happen before okay so we have the same symbol on this cauldron that we did on the one the sparkle one so I'm not sure if we're gonna get another sparkle one this was these were at the dollar store too I believe they were also five dollars Canadian did I get a repeat? Oh, I might have. Oh, wow, really? I did! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, well, we all know, if you've watched this channel long enough, that repeats mean we can either share or trade with a friend, or, in many cases on this channel, it will be in a future giveaway. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, I kind of wanted to see one that had a power work for you guys here on the channel, but uh, I don't know, I, we just got some sparkly ones, which is fine too. Sparkle's nice, sparkle's nice. All right, well, let's open up our last item, which is this LOL Remix Pets little box here and let's see this says I'm in disguise there's nine surprises inside of course it's a little pet and it's really cool because it's almost like I'll show you it's, it's like a little what we used to call ghetto blaster um but they are inside I believe let's see Ooh, <laughs> that's kind of cool okay Let's take it out and see. Look at that crew remix. Very cute. I just love the container. Like, look at that. That is so cool. How very old school, right? Oh, cool. And it has a little tape inside. 
Look at that! Not an actual playable tape, but it is so cute. And it says here, we so extra when they see us, they jealous. Okay, and I guess it just goes that far, but you can... Can you put it back? Oh gosh, what did I just do? Yeah, okay, so you can push it back a bit. Can you? Oh my goodness, I don't know. Must be able to. You can't even turn it like you would the tapes back in the day. But that's okay. I'll either snip it or whatever, or slowly try to push it back, but that's okay. Now you know if you don't want that to stick out, you uh, don't do that. <laughs> okay, let's see your girl, or sorry, your pet. <gasps> Ooh, look at this. This looks so cool. Oh, wow. Is it green and black hair? I can't get in fast enough. <laughs> I can't get in at all, actually, right now. Oh, don't be difficult. Oh, it's because, am I pulling the wrong thing? Maybe. No. Okay, we're good. It's an owl. That is so cool and unique. Wow, look at it. So it's this, like really pale faced owl with like gray and white body almost like a snowy owl and look at the hair the green and black with the little like mini buns on top that looks awesome i love this one wow okay let's take out the little surprises that come with it that's cool okay also inside okay you can open that obviously there's a little handle you can put on your box. I guess that's a checklist. Let's see here. I don't know if I figured out how to put the handle on properly when I had this before. Oopsies. <laughs> Come on, don't be difficult. And there we go, the handle is on. Very cool. Love that. Put the cassette back in. Oh, I love it. It has a fake, like, uh, oh, yes, because uh, the Ghetto Blasters, of course, uh, we didn't have lithium batteries. We just had big honk and, like, either C or D batteries that were in the back to power your little Ghetto Blaster. So <laughs> it has, like, a fake door here for those kind of batteries, I'm guessing. That's so cool. Okay, so here's our checklist. Let's find out the name of our friend before we open everything else. This one is, oh, there it is, really easy. Coo bird. Oh, wow. And blue. Does blue mean anything? Blue means popular. Very good. Very good. I love that. Look at the other ones that you can get here. That is awesome. These would be so fun to collect, don't you think? I think that's it. I love that. So there aren't too many to, you know, have to collect. So it's a small collection that would be a lot easy. What is that so I'm trying to say? <laughs> what you trying to say, D? Uh, which is easier to obtain, I guess, uh, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, that's so cute. Has like a little song list on the back. Cute. Okay, let's see what kind of accessories we get for our Cooper. Oh, yes, of course. We have, oh, okay. So this, um, do you have like a stand somewhere? Okay. I'm guessing this is some sort of stand for the little feet to go into. Not sh oh yeah. Okay. Looks like we have a peg, like a hole and a peg. Go in there, and then you would put your little pet on top like that. It doesn't like fit precisely, so you wouldn't be able to tip it, but you can have it standing nicely. We'll take a look at everything shortly, anyways. One more time. We'll get a better view of that. Very cool, like fluorescent green little sippy cup. And we have, what do we have? Oh wow, cool, we have a microphone and a microphone stand. Ah, <laughs> that's so cute. And then of course they do the little handle on it. Oh, you don't have any kind of a hand or anything or a wing that we could use, okay. That's okay, so we just put it beside. That's okay, do you move at all? I guess your head moves, okay, that's about it. Okay, oh, okay, well, you know, it does come with a stand, so that's okay, we'll just put it near our figurine. Makes sense. Here we have, ooh, we have a black and white shoe. Oh, that'll make it stand in the 
little um, well these little um, gosh I can't think of why are words hard today <laughs> it'll just be able to stand easier in there how can I get the cute on this is weird is this the right way I'm not sure they're not the easiest things to put on I'm not gonna lie okay and they're falling off okay well you know again we'll just have to be careful so they don't fall out I'll do that in a minute wow we have a whole other outfit well I mean I guess it doesn't have an outfit right now it's just oh natural but that's cool and then we have sunglasses of course all right so I'm gonna get um our little coo bird all dressed up put everything else on the display stand and we're gonna pick a favorite and wrap up this video hang tight right here we are everything that we unboxed today and we have quite a little variety here we have the interesting battle balls from marvel a uh, little game here that comes with lots of cards a die two characters one is in a mystery little kind of capsule that you break into and bits and pieces for a game which is pretty cool i think uh, then we got our sparkly twin <laughs> magic mixies whose power I'm gonna guess is just the fact that they are super sparkly, which is very interesting, but I still love them They're super super pretty very pleased to have that and then we have of course Koo Bird, our awesome little lol remix uh, Pet and it is so so cute Love it very edgy very fun. I got um either him or her, I'm not sure, but I got the figurine to stand in the little stand provided, put the shades on, put the outfit on, looking good, and the microphone's all set to go as well, along with a little refreshing water at the side to keep the vocal cords fantastic and smooth. <laughs> and I love the fact, again, that it opens, you have a tape cassette in there, whoops, don't wanna knock you down. And now it is time for me to pick my favorite. And I'm gonna have to go with Coobird. Oh no, it's falling over. Don't fa Okay, uh, now it's all like, must be after the concert. Everything's, everything's going crazy. Things are being thrown. Band members are falling down. You know, the usual stuff. So, <laughs> well, I was burning my finger there. Just kidding. Uh, yeah, no, very cool. I love it. I love the concept of the old school tape cassette player. It's very reminiscent of my teenage years. And is that dating me? Uh, a little bit, yeah, yeah. It puts it puts a little date onto my uh, my age, but I don't care. I mean, I'm young at heart, and I'm happy. I'm proud to be. So there we go. Now, as usual, please, guys, let me know which one is your favorite. I absolutely love talking to you guys in the comments, and if you're new, please say hi in the comments as well. I'd love to welcome you to the channel myself personally. And if you have yet to subscribe, please consider subscribing. If you do not want to, that's absolutely fine too. I appreciate you watching and uh, check out some of my other videos and playlists. Until next time, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of others, keep playing, and I definitely, as usual, cannot wait to see you all in the next video. Bye!